What's up boys and girls, want to make a quick video today showing you what I've found to be the best layout for Punishing Graven on PC that no one's been using. Uh, should help fix a lot of the issues that I've seen streamers having where they fumble up the controls using the horrible default method where every number is on an orb. Gosh, whoops, wrong keybind again. I'm trying to get these keybinds down pat. Really not getting it. So let's get into it. All right, so this will work on any emulator. Um, I'm using LD player though, and that's for a specific reason that I'll talk about at the end of the video. One of them is because it can do 4K and 120 FPS, no problem. But the layout for the controls itself, and I'm using uh, my normal keyboard so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, I've rearranged the buttons a bit because we're not playing on mobile. You don't need these huge buttons taking up the entire screen. We're on PC, so we can move things around. And if you don't know how to do that, I can just show you real fast. You go to pause, button positions, um, settings, and then you can select each different button, make it bigger, make it smaller, and move it around. So this is how I have it set up right now. I made the power bar a bit bigger too, so you can see that more easily on PC. And if I go into the controls, um, got pretty standard stuff uh, on the left side here. Um, WASD is move. Shift is dodge, you know, makes sense in most games. Shift is sprint or dodge. I have Q mapped to my ultimate, and this is where I've set up the ultimate button to pop up. And I've also got the middle mouse button uh, just down here in the center. What that does is whenever you press it, it'll just center up your view to wherever your character is pointing. And now I have my attack on my right mouse button. And so you might be thinking, oh god, you gotta keep pressing every time, you're gonna get arthritis. No! So, what you actually wanna do is you wanna set up a macro, um, and you can do this with any free software, really easy to download, um, where whenever you hold down the right mouse button, you see it'll keep on attacking for you. And uh, again, you can do this with any free software. Uh, I have uh, a Logitech mouse, so I set up a uh, Logitech profile with a macro where it just does a right click uh, down for 50 milliseconds and then up for 150 milliseconds and it's set to repeat while I'm holding the button. And so in any program that you get, um, the timing doesn't matter as much but you really just want to make it so it's a down and up click while you're holding that right mouse button. And so what this does is it frees up your left mouse button to be able to click on the orbs, which is a lot easier than having to remember what each orb is mapped to on your number row. So if I just show you a quick example in the fight here, uh, you see that I have my, I'm just attacking normally, I can dodge just fine, no issues, move around, and then bam, click the orbs. I see some yellows here, look at that. I can just stop holding right and go into my wave dash, wave dash, uh, getting some Smash Bros tech in here, wave dash uh, for Lucia. And now for my characters here, what I've done is I have a uh, gaming mouse with the side buttons on it, so what made the most sense to me was to map the top character to my top button on the side here, can't see it here, and my bottom character to the bottom button here. Um, if you don't have that and all you have is a front and back button, that would work just as well. Uh, if you don't have mouse buttons, next best thing would probably be on the controller, excuse me, on the keyboard. Uh, probably do uh, control and space, or maybe have shift be your top character, control be your bottom character, and space be your dash. Um, some combo of that, um, you have to figure out what works best for you there. I was messing around with the idea of having maybe my character swaps on E and Q since they're both right here and maybe putting my ultimate on something else like, I don't know, R or Tab. But uh, the reason you don't want to do that, uh, or I decided against that, is because if you look on the Chinese version of the game, uh, in a future update, we're going to get a lock-on system where you can actually lock onto an enemy and it'll um, track them no matter where they are on your screen. And I believe there's a button for that right here that's going to be added later. Um, so I'm planning to make that button E, which would make it really easy uh, so that when you're looking at enemy, you can just bam E and lock onto them. But that makes it really easy to switch into characters and use their QTEs too. So for example, 
let's get some stuff stacked up here. Here we go. So I got three yellows. When I go yellow, bam, and then she's in there, and now I can tap the top and just switch into Nanami there. Go into bottom if I need to. Bam. Super easy. And then I saw that my ultimate popped up for Lucia, so I'll switch back to her, and I can just press Q, Overwatch style, and there you go. Her ult popped off. So yeah, really easy, really intuitive. Um, again, surprised that no one's tried to do this kind of a setup. Even on Chinese videos, I haven't seen anyone really doing this. Um, but yeah, that's what makes the most sense to me. Going into the emulator, um, the reason I'm using LD Player um, is because there are some broken graphical effects on a few other emulators um, that I found. The main one being this distortion effect here. So if you look around this portal, you can see it's kind of distorting and swirling. Um, and you can see it looks just fine on this emulator. But if you switch to something like Blue Stacks, then you'll see that the distortion effect is totally broken. It looks all wonky. And it's not just for the portal, it's for attacks too. All the attacks have a slight distortion effect on them, uh, including bosses too. And it's just all jacked up on some emulators. So the emulators I've tested this on are uh, LD Player, Mimu, Moomoo, both the Chinese and the global version. Uh, the Chinese is better because it's more updated and there's a video online that shows you how to install that and get it to work in English. Bluestacks 4 and Bluestacks 5 and Game Loop. And out of all of those, the only ones that don't have the broken distortion effect are LD Player and Moomoo emulator. Um, I would actually prefer to use Moomoo because that one is officially supported by Punching Your Raven, but for some reason on my PC, Moo Moo has a horrible stutter every three seconds. It's always exactly three seconds. I have no idea how to fix it. So if you don't have that issue, then you can use Moo Moo also. Uh, Moo Moo has 4K support, 120 FPS, no issues. But that one doesn't work for me, so I'm using LD Player, next best thing. And again, I'm playing in 4K, 120 FPS. No issues, and if you want to see my settings for that, uh, here they are. Uh, just manually typed in 4K, uh, recommended here, and then if you go down to game settings, 120 FPS, you can do 90 FPS too if you don't need the full 120. Uh, ASTC textures are on, vertical sync is off. Uh, I have a G-Sync monitor, so I don't need it, but if you don't, then you might want to enable vertical sync to avoid any screen tearing. That's it for the video, pretty easy setup. I'll just leave y'all with some gameplay now to kind of show you how this all works in action, how easy it is to use. So thanks for watching. Now I'm